Hey Red Apple Girls, it's Ashley here and today I have a super exciting video to share with you. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I am back and I am back with our new summer collection. So in this video I'm going to be just trying on each of the colors for you so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like and I'll do some swatches and close-ups as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because we have six brand new awesome lipsticks and two fabulous new glosses that I want to be able to Share with you today. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the glosses because they're a little bit more sheer and easier to take off. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Before I put these glosses on, I just wanted to mention real quick that both of these are in our original formula, so they're not minty like a lot of our glosses are, which I know a lot of people are going to be really happy about that. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and try on this first one, which is in the shade called Tiny Dancer. It is a really pretty nude color. If you like our Honey Badger lip gloss, I think you'll really like this color. It's a little bit more pigmented than our Honey Badger gloss, but it still is a nude color, so it's going to be really, really pretty for a lot of people. So this is what Tiny Dancer looks like. It is a super, super gorgeous kind of nudie peachy pink color. So I think that this one's going to look great on a lot of people. And if you like nude lip glosses, you're not going to want to miss out on this. And I find that it's super, super smooth and creamy. It's not sticky at all. I love this color. The next gloss that I'm going to be showing you is in the shade called Swack. And for anyone who might be curious about that name, it stands for Sealed with a Kiss. So I think that was really, really cute. Um, this gloss is a pink color. It's actually it kind of reminds me as I'm looking at it right now, it kind of looks very similar to our Audrey lipstick. I would say it's a little bit deeper than that though and maybe a little bit more pink. And this is what SWAC looks like. Oh, I think it's so, so pretty. And like I said, both of these glosses are pretty darn pigmented. Um, a lot of our meant to be ones go on a little bit more sheer, so if you are wanting more color to your lip glosses, these two you're gonna love. What I'm going to do is I will start off with the lightest and go to the darkest or brightest color. And in the meantime, I'll also tell you what formula it's in and um, give you a little bit of information on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one. It is a nude color and it is in the shade called Beach Side. And it is super, super pretty. When you actually apply it, it turns out a little bit more like a peach color, but in the tube it looks more like brown or tan. Alright, so this is what Beach Side looks like. It is still a really pretty color. I'm not sure if I 100% love it on me personally. I think it's going to look really great on those with a medium to darker skin tone though. It's like a nudish peachy color. Um, still super pretty and I can imagine myself having some fun with this one, kind of mixing and blending some colors. Um, Beach Side is in our X series, so it's on the more matte side, but it still is super creamy and moisturizing to the lips, so a definite must-have for the summer. Moving right along, this next color is in the shade Twist and Pout. Oh, these names, they're so, so cute. This one, I would say, it's like a little bit of a medium pinkish peachy color. At least that's what it looks like in the tube. We'll see what it looks like when it's on. So let me go ahead and apply it. So this is what Twist and Pout looks like. It is a super pretty color. It looks a little bit more coral than it did in the tube, at least on me, it looks a little bit more corally. I think that if you liked a lipstick that we used to have called Lovebird, you're gonna love this one. It's kind of like a blend between Lovebird and another one that we have called Coral Crush. So if you liked either one of those, I think you're really gonna like this one. This one is in the X series, so it's matte, but it's super, super creamy. Like when I applied it, it just goes on like butter. Love it. Um, this is definitely a color that I really personally like on myself, and I will probably 
be wearing a lot this summer. The next color that I'm going to be trying on for you is in this shade called Petal to the Metal. Again, super, super cute name. This one is in our Instant Color formula, and it does have a tiny little bit of shimmer in it. I think it's going to be like a lot of our shimmery lipsticks where when you apply it, you're really not going to be able to tell that it has a lot of shimmer in it. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. This looks like kind of like a berry pink color, so let me go ahead and try it on. Oh yes, love this one. So Petal to the Metal comes off a little bit on the mauve pinky side. Um, I think if you like Mauve Me or Plum Sexy Crazy, maybe even Paris, I think you would really, really like this color. It's a little bit more pink though than those two. Plum Sexy Crazy is a little bit more red and then Mauve Me a little bit more purpley. This one's a good kind of in-between color. I think if you also like Audrey or if Audrey looks good on you, you're gonna like this one too. Even Berry Blast. This is a really gorgeous color. Jay and Andrea never cease to amaze me with the colors they come up with. They're always super super gorgeous. This is definitely one I'd wear going out at nighttime. I mean, you could definitely wear this during the day. I kind of built it up and applied it a little bit heavier here, but you could apply it definitely a lot lighter for the daytime as well, but mm -hmm. gorgeous. Love it. This next lipstick that I'm going to try on for you is in the shade Unpinkable, which again, OMG, I love that name. So, so cute. This color in the tube looks kind of like a um, purpley, pinky color. Actually, it looks very similar to our lipstick in Hibiscus. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this on and get a feel for what it actually looks like when I put it on. Okay, so love this color first of all. Super, super gorgeous. I think if you like Mix and Mingle or Cranberry Magic, you're going to love this color. It looks a little bit more like Cranberry Magic to me, um, applied on, because it's kind of a little bit darker, not quite as pink as Mix and Mingle, and definitely more of a pinky red than Hibiscus, but if you love either one of those, I think you'd definitely really like this one. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. It's Definitely a little bit of like a darker pink color. It's not like a super bright in your face Although on the camera it looks a little brighter than it does in person, but mm, So gorgeous and I don't think I mentioned it already, but this is the other one that's in the instant color formula, so Super super pretty love 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 this next lipstick. I am super super excited about there used to be a lipstick that I used way back in the day called ginger I think that's what it was called anyway. It looked very close to this one So I'm super excited to see how this one turns out on me um, but Yeah, it is called firecracker and this is in our um, X series formula. So again, it's gonna be more matte Without further ado, let me go ahead and try this on. I really, really like this one. It's a little bit lighter than the ginger one that I used to use, which was by a different company, by the way. I just thought I should throw that out there real quick. Um, it's definitely on the oranger side, which I love. I love oranger lipsticks. It's, they are just one of my favorites. I think if you like Coral Crush, you're going to like this one. I think if you also like Barcelona, you're going to love this one as well. It actually reminds me, it looks like it would be a blend of Coral Crush and Barcelona. That's what it looks like. So if you like either one of those, you're going to love this. Uh, I think I already mentioned it, but I just mentioned it again. This lipstick is in our X series formula, so it's more matte, but super, super creamy. Alrighty, and the last lipstick in our awesome new summer collection is in the shade Risqué. Now, this one I'm a little bit nervous about because our last collection had a color called Jalapeno in it, and that color, I personally just don't think it looks that great on me. I've even tried applying it lightly, and I just can't get it to look right. I think it might look better if I mix it with a cool tone, but um, it just does not look that great on me. This 
In the tube, it looks like a blend between like a red color and an orange. It has a little bit of an orange undertone to it, like when I look at it in the light. Uh, similar to Barcelona, but a little bit more red than that, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on. I Again, I'm kind of nervous about it. I might need to use a lip brush too, because... Sometimes I can get away without using a lip brush, but because this is such a bold color, I think I'm going to need to um, use a lip brush. We'll see. Yep, going to whip out the lip brush. Make the edges nice and smooth. Alright, so this is what Risqué looks like on me, and I'm actually super, super incredibly happy with it. Like I said, I wasn't 100% happy with Jalapeno and how it looked like on me. I loved the color, I just personally didn't like it on me. Even when I applied it lightly, it just didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping. But this one looks really, really good. I really, really, really love this color. Um... It's just, it's super, super pretty. You know that feeling you get when you find a lipstick that you're just almost instantly in love with? That's this one for me. I'm going to have to start wearing red lipstick more. And before I forget to mention, this lipstick in the color Risqué is in our X series formula. So it's going to be a little bit more matte, but again, super creamy. Like, these lipsticks are so luxurious feeling on the lips. Love, 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 love. Alright, so before I forget to mention and close out this video, I just wanted to let you know that all of these lipsticks are going to go on sale on July 9th. And you're going to want to make sure that you're registered for that because it's kind of like you need to register in order to get your hands on these brand new goodies first. So we're going to have a lot of awesome deals and stuff for you as well. So you're going to want to make sure that you get registered for that. I will have a link to register down in the description box below. Hello. And yeah, anyway, so make sure you're registered. Like I said, we have two brand new lip glosses, both in the original formula, and then we have six brand new lipsticks, four in our X series, and two in our instant color formula. So I'll also link down below a, or a link to our ingredient page so you can see what the ingredients are. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that your summer is going well so far, and I'm so incredibly excited to be back and making more videos for you. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope that you are having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!